Hi my lovely ones, so I'm here with yet another video. I know I said I was going to do an update video, but I will get around to doing that another day. Um, I just found this tag on YouTube and I thought it was really interesting. And I actually found it through a friend of mine here on YouTube. Her name is Tia0923 or 0923. And um, she is someone who I've been talking to a lot on YouTube. So um, she did this tag and she was tagged by tantalizing, I think. And so that's why it is called the tantalizing tag. And um, I just found the questions to be really interesting. So I'm going to get into this video right now because I actually don't have that much time. And I need to make this video super, super short because I actually did this video and it was too long to upload. And I'm on my, iP my iPhone again. So I want to be able to upload it. So anyway, I'm just going to get into it and answer these questions. So the first question is, what is the scariest thing that has ever happened to you? Um, originally, I wanted to share a few things with you, but I guess I'll only share one. Um, I was really young and I went to the fair and they have this ride very similar to one that they have at Wonderland and I think it's called the Riptide or the the cliffhanger or something it basically goes like this and spins around while it goes like that so it was like really crazy but um, I am a very very tiny person and um, it's no it's like I don't know how I got on this ride because I just feel like I was way too small to even have been on this ride in the first place but basically the harness part that keeps you in like you know when you're in a roller coaster or whatever that basically the opening was like just clipping the edges of my shoulders so it was very very easy for me to slip out and when I was like jerked this way I kind of was like hanging out of the ride like legit hanging out of the ride and so um luckily the operator guy saw that I was hanging out and screaming for my life um, so he stopped the ride and let me off, but it was just so scary, like, I would, I don't know, I'm terrified from that ride, and I've never been back on it since. Um, number two, what famous person do people tell you that you most resemble? I don't know why exactly, but I always get Lauren Hill. People say that I resemble her, and there has been times where I kind of can see it, because, like, we both have, like, whole bushy eyebrow thing going on, and, like, the big eyes or whatever but other than that I don't really see it like in my face or anything but like I mean on multiple videos I've had comments where people would say oh you kind of look like Lauren Hill and I'm like I think that's a huge compliment because she's so pretty but I just don't think that we look that much alike um number three if you could meet one person alive or dead that you have never met who would it be now this was tough because I kind of had two people who I really want to meet one is a celebrity and the other is my grandfather and so I'll start with why I want to meet my grandfather because like I've never met him he died a long time he died when my mother was 18 but um he just sounded like such an amazing guy and um we seem to have a lot in common just from stories that I've heard and like we like jazz music a lot and we like to like dissect the songs like by instruments and stuff so I feel like it would be an amazing to just like get to sit down with him and listen to music and talk about the music and stuff um but other than that the celebrity who I really want to meet no fig go figure I would love to meet Michael Jackson I just think that he's an amazing person and just such a sweet guy and I would just love to be able to have told him that um Provided, like like Tia said, provided that I'm not, like, screaming or fainting or whatever, you know. I think that it would be a really amazing experience to meet Michael Jackson. So, that's who I would choose. Um, number four, what cheers you up? Um, there's quite a few things that can cheer me up, really. Like, when I get into a really, really bad mood, I really just like to read. And that's basically the only thing that really gets me out of my mood. Because I feel like you can take yourself from whatever headspace you're in and just like get into a totally new headspace when you're reading because like you get to imagine things and I don't know just kind of put yourself in a whole new world when you're reading so that's what I really love about reading because like I don't know I feel like it can really cheer me up and also music does that for me as well I mean like when I'm really angry I like music that can calm me down and when I'm really happy I like happy music and when I'm really sad I just like to listen to music that is really upbeat and happy um, so that's another thing. Also, my mom, she's amazing. She knows how to cheer me up. You know, sometimes I'm feeling, like, really sad, and she'll come home and bring me something that she knows I really like. Um, and also, I just have the two most amazing best friends, Nadia and Jaden, and they make me laugh beyond, beyond explanation, so they also cheer me up. Um, number five, if you had to be trapped in a TV show for a month, which one would you choose? Um, now this for me was a no-brainer. I would choose Victorious because it's like one of my favorite shows these days. 
And um, it's more geared towards, like, preteens and teens, but because I'm still, like, young at heart, I really, really, really like this show. And it kind of takes me back to my teen days, too. So I think it would be really cool to hang out with the cast. Well, not just the cast, like, the actual characters of the show, like Victoria and um, Andre. I think Andre's hilarious and Beck and all of them. Like, I think they're so funny and it would just be so amazing to be in that show. Like, honestly, I've wanted to be in that show since I saw it. <laughs> um... What did you do for your latest birthday? Honestly, uh, like birthdays for me, I think that was the last time I'm ever going to do anything for my birthday just because it's too stressful to plan. And like you invite a bunch of people and they say they can come in initially, but then slowly the numbers wane and wane and wane and you're just left with a few people. But I really did appreciate the people who did come and hang out and we went to a restaurant called Spring Rolls where the food was less than mediocre. Like it was really, really bad. I did not enjoy the food at all. But I just like the company of, like, I liked having the company of all the people who are important to me there. And um, I was glad that, you know, those people at least showed up. So um, that's what I did. And then I also went clubbing afterward, which was really, really fun. So um, number seven, if you had to be named after a city, state or country, which one would you want it to be? I really, really like the name Asia, even though it's not a country, city or state. Um, it's just um, a really nice name. And I... I really like names like that. Like, I love people whose names are, like, after countries and stuff. And another one that I really like is Africa. And um, another one that I really like is Egypt. I just think that's such a pretty name. And um, I actually once considered naming my kids, like, Egypt and Africa or, you know, something like that. But um, I think those are more names that I would have wanted for myself, not that I would necessarily give to my children. So, um, I always like names like uh, Days of the Week. Like, I love the name Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, not really Thursday though. I don't think that's a very nice name. Um, or Saturday or Sunday. Okay, so I guess it stops like from Monday to Wednesday. I really like those names. But anyway, um, next question. What is the most memorable class you've ever taken? There's a few memorable classes that I've ever had. I really liked drama all throughout high school. And in my last year of drama class, I got a 99%, which was just awesome. I was so happy about that. And then also, um, I didn't actually like the content of this class because it was politics, but I really, really enjoyed the teacher who made it that much easier to go through the class. And he's my favorite teacher ever. His name is Mr. Silvestro, and he just made that class extremely fun. So uh, that was another one of my favorites. And then also, these two are definitely not my favorites because of the fact that I almost failed them. But I'm really, really no good at science. And I took biology and I took chemistry in grade 11. And um, this is kind of interesting. Both of my teachers passed me for really weird reasons. Um, the first one, his name is Mr. Ott, very sweet guy. Um, he passed me because he said I had charisma. Literally, that's what he said on my report card. He said, Clea passed this course because she has charisma. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then my other teacher, Mrs. Downer, uh, she was my um, chemistry teacher, and she passed me because I tried hard. Um, she saw that I was trying, and I really was not pulling really great grades or anything like that, but she gave me the option of coming in to kind of improve my marks and just work on, like, formulas and stuff. So I did. I would take my time out of lunches and stuff and go and see her, and we'd work on formulas together. So even though I really wasn't, getting that much better she passed me because she saw that I was trying and she noted that on my my report card as well so um those are some of my few favorite teachers I guess not really classes but yeah um what is your favorite commercial I really don't watch tv so I couldn't really tell you what commercial is what I just find that commercials these days are really funny. Like, when I do catch a commercial every so often, when I'm, like, going downstairs to eat something, I'll be like, ha, ah, that's so funny. My mom will be like, like, where have you been? This commercial's been out forever. But, like, I really haven't watched TV, so I can't tell you a specific commercial that I like. Um, number 10. This is the most interesting question, I think. Um, would you be willing to lie to a court for a close friend if it meant saving your friend from going to jail for life? Every time I've, like, redone this video, because it's been, this is my third time redoing the video, trying to make it shorter, um, my question gets more and more definite. I mean, sorry, my answer gets more and more definite. I would have to say no, because I know in courts, most courts, you have to swear in on a Bible or a holy book. I'm not going to put my hand on a holy book and swear to tell the truth and then go in there and lie. And now I understand it's my friend and their life is going to be over because they're going to be in jail for life. But really, what did they do to end up in that situation in the first place? Because 
if you're going to be going to jail for life, you must. it has to have been, like, murder or something. And if I know that they did commit a murder, I'm not going to lie and say that they didn't. And those types of things also catch up with you in the long run. Like, I mean, I guess it's a question of where your loyalties lie. Do your loyalties lie within yourself? Are you going to feel good having lied about something like that afterwards? Because I know I wouldn't. And having, you know, having had sworn on a holy book, I just could not live with the fact that I'm lying for this person. Um, but like I was saying, those types of things can catch up with you really quickly. Because, like, in the long run, if they do get off the hook, but there is evidence that's found later on that proves that they are indeed guilty and you lied and it was like a murder or something. You could be charged as an accessory for murder for having lied. So, I mean, it's just like I wouldn't want to mess myself over for someone else who actually did do something wrong. And so I guess my answer would just be no, I couldn't lie. And I'm not good at lying anyway. Like, I usually wear my guilt on my face and that's something I would feel extremely guilty about. So they would just know that I'm lying and then there's no point. Just, yeah. So I would not be able to do it. Sorry. Anyway, um, in number 11, if you could have personally witnessed anything, what would you want to have seen? Again, like Tia said in her video, um, that's a really vague question and your answer is like limitless to what you could say. But I guess I like to witness things that make me feel really good inside. So like if someone did something really, really good for someone else and it was just like really heartwarming, those are the types of things that I would want to witness, I guess. Or um, I would like to witness... Um, a Michael Jackson concert because I've always wanted to go to one of those and never really had the chance. So that's another thing that I would say I would want to witness. And the last question, what question do you hate to answer? I hate when people ask me, are you mad at me? That's just the worst question ever. Firstly, if you ask me that question, but you've done nothing for me to be mad at you, then why ask it? And like, the fact that you're asking me that question is going to make me mad at you because it's just an annoying question. If you know you didn't do anything for me to be mad at you, why would I be mad? And then for people who have done something where I'm clearly mad, because if you do something to get me mad, I'm going to show you that I'm mad. My actions will say that I am mad, so there's no need to ask. You might want to come with a more intelligent question like, what can I do to fix the fact that you're mad at me? Because you know I'm mad, so don't ask me, are you mad at me? I just really, really hate that question, which reminds me, I really want to do this tag. It's called That's That-ish I Don't Like. Um... And I kind of made a list of things that I really just don't like or that irk me a lot. So I'm going to do that in another video someday, someday soon. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, I would love it if you guys would answer these questions, especially number 10 down below in the comments because it's always nice to hear insight from other people. And um, I don't know, or if you want to take a stab at it and put this on your channel and do this question, these questions, then that would be awesome too. Um, but anyway, that is it, and I will see you guys very soon, and thanks for watching. Bye, my lovely ones.